Roosevelt, men generally enjoyed. Women, with, with the exception of Clara of Barton, Florence, Nightingale, and one of our got short shrift. Most history was oriented for the male heroes. Okay, take a moment. What's being defined is here. Looking in that chunk, what definition strategy did you see? Write down next to the paragraph one of those letters. Which definition strategy did you see there? Remember, function describes the word or says what it physically can do. Negation tells me what the word is not. Example gives me a specific name of the term. All right, now if you took a look at the screen, what's popped up is my key of what each color is going to mean on the screen. Can you see Steve or Ryan and hit Stay Connected? Sure, you did. Sure, you did. So, anytime I'm showing you an example strategy, it's going to be yellow. Anytime I show you function, it'll be blue. Anytime negation, green. So, let's see if you're on the right track. Which type of definition strategy am I showing you? Example. So, if you didn't write example down, or maybe you didn't pick up on this, I'd probably write it down. Right, Angelica, could you read the next two lines that are at the bottom of the page? Okay, was there any definition of hero there? Not really. Did it say anything about hero? Yes, yes, yes. Alright, moving on to the next page. Alright, here's the third paragraph. The simple acts of heroism are often overlooked. That's very clear to me. Not only in war, but in peace. I'm not debunking all of history. Crossing the Delaware was a magnificent action, but I am saying that the meaning of heroism has a lot to do with evolving into a higher human being. I came into contact with it when I worked with Ron Kovic, the paraplegic Vietnam vet on Born on the Fourth of July. I was impressed by his life change from a patriotic and strong-willed athlete to someone who had to deal with the total surrender of his body, who grew into a nonviolent and peaceful advocate of change in the Martin Luther King Jr. and Gandhi tradition. So, heroism is tied to an evolution of consciousness. Okay, take a moment. I know. I'm going to show you a couple of things that I saw. First off, really obvious, there's an example, Ron Kovic. The author uses Ron Kovic to describe what is a hero. Okay, but there's also a couple of function strategies in there, too. So the fourth line of the paragraph, the author says that heroism is evolving into a higher human being. That's a function. That's describing a hero. And also at the very, very end of the paragraph, it says that heroism is tied to an evolution of consciousness. That's also a function. All right, next paragraph. Go ahead, Isaiah. I'll read that one. The word I have children, and I'm the 29 hours every day company. 
of time to share my knowledge with them without overwhelming. It is difficult to be a father, to be a, to be a mother, and I think that to be kind and loving parent is an act of heroism. So there you go, heroes are everyday common people. Most of what they do is, um, Helded. they do unappreciated. And that, ironically, is heroism, not being recognized. Okay, take a moment. Pull out the strategies that you see. Now this paragraph is great because all three strategies are in it. So if you picked up on one, great. Hopefully you picked up on two. But I'm going to share a third one with you as well. Ready? Watch the screen. Here they come. Okay, one of the first ones that's easy to find is the function. Heroes are kind and loving. But what's interesting about what this author does is he actually gives us some Compound nouns, okay? Compound nouns are two nouns smushed together. Okay, he talks about everyday and common. Well, heroes are everyday and common. So that's a function. But then he connects people to it. So he says that everyday people, which is an example, common people, which is an example, are heroes. Okay, and at the very end, he gives an addition. He says heroes are not recognized. So this paragraph has all three strategies in it. So hopefully you're making that marking, you're writing it down. All right, let's take a look at the next one. Who is heroic? Scientists who spend years of their lives trying to find cures for diseases. The teenager who says no to crack. The inner city kid who works at McDonald's instead of selling drugs. The kid who stands alone instead of joining a game which would give him an instant identity. The celebrity who remains modest and treats others with respect, or who uses his position to help society. The student who defies the immediate pleasure of making money and finishes college or high school. People who take risks despite fears. People in wheelchairs who don't give up. So take a moment. What strategies do you think you're seeing there? All right, now, that paragraph has a ridiculous amount of examples. It says this person, that person, this kid, that student, a scientist. But I'm going to point out not examples, but something different. The author gives you a function strategy. He said that heroes take risks. That's describing a hero. And at the very end, he gives us a negation strategy. He says that heroes don't give up. So he's defining what a hero is by what he or she does not do. All right, sure, go ahead and read the last chunk. Um, we have a lot of broken in our society, but we must assume that everything is always being in and we can allow for the growing and for the students to be greater and then one self to die to find another version of one self to grow. That's where everything comes from. And we must allow our young, young version to decide for the version instead of we take some risks. Okay, now this one I'm going to provide you with. In this very last chunk, he provides a function definition. He describes that heroes are greater than themselves. So he's insinuating 
that heroes are selfless. They are not selfish. They think about others, not just themselves. All right, now what I'm going to ask you to do is you're going to pull out your raw notebook and you're going to get this piece set up so that we can start using it next week. So go ahead, pull out your raw notebook. I'm going to briefly show you those table of contents. This screen's not going to be up very long. I'm going to give you 30 seconds, so get it down. 25 seconds. 20 seconds to copy your table of contents. 15 seconds to copy. 10 seconds to copy. Okay, now this is your actual entry. This is what I'm going to suggest you do. You're going to be taking an entire page to develop this chart. What I would suggest that you do is you take your paper or your notebook, instead of keeping it vertical, I would shift it so that it's horizontal. That way you've got more space to write with. So I want you to take a moment to start copying down that entire chart and all of that text. It's not hard. Remember, I have to take up the entire page, copy down all of the text, Don't wait. Don't hesitate. Copy what you see on the screen. Okay, now I'm pushing you folks to move quick because I want to get you to this homework piece. I want you to be able to get the homework done so technically it's not weekend homework. All right? Now, if you didn't get the chart all the way, don't forget. It's going to come back to you on Monday. But from all I want you to do is pass out the index cards that I left at your family table. Make sure every member has one. Remember, the more time you waste, the more likely it is that you're going to have homework for the weekend. Pass that index card out to each member. <laughs> now, the directions for what you have to do are going to show up on the screen. And if you don't get this done in time, yes, it's homework, and you'll have to bring it back to me on Monday. We'll press the time here, so I want to move quick. All right, just watch the screen because everything I'm telling you is popping up there. Don't do anything with the index card yet. So what we're doing, you're going to be defining one of four terms or concepts. You're going to choose either family, politeness, determination, or love, just like it's shown on the screen. We'll pick one. What you're going to have to do is define that concept using these three strategies. Now, the way that you can ensure that you've used the three strategies is if you're able to answer these questions. So when I read perhaps your definition of love, did you describe it and tell me what it can physically do? If you use politeness, did you provide me with examples of politeness or polite people? For maybe family. Did you describe what it is not? Okay, now don't start yet. I haven't asked you to. Let's get your index card set up. So the first side with the lines, at the top, you're going to put your name. You're going to put down period five. And you're going to write down which concept you're defining. You'll write down which concept you are defining at the top. Don't just write concept. Tell me what concept you're defining. So the family politeness, determination, or love. Now in terms of a length requirement, it's going to pop up in that index card. It needs to be a minimum of five sentences. And you need to make sure that you have been able to use all three strategies. Use those three questions on the side if you need to to make sure that you've defined your concepts by all three strategies. You've got a little bit of time to get started, and if you work really hard, you can probably get this done so it's not homework. Go ahead.